Hurry up, Sharon! We're coming! If that's the size of your overnight bag, I'd hate to see the size of your suitcase. <laughs> you never know what could happen when we're over there. Oh, I hope something happens. Are you only going to Boulogne for a couple of days? Oh, do you know how stylish the French are? Yes, especially Dominique. Well, I couldn't make up my mind what to wear tonight. So you thought you'd carry your wardrobe? <laughs> well, it's just a few things. Now, Desmond, you know what you have to do. Do? What do I got to do? Yes, now. Number one, remember, phone Sean at Cousin Gracie's in Dorset. I leave all the food in the fridge. Come on, hurry up, boys and girls. Come on, blind man. I wouldn't have thought party would be such sweet sort at your age. I thought we'd be glad to see the backs of each other for a couple of days. Lee. Lee. What? Shut, Shut up. up. Oh, I like that. You've done someone a favour, and all they do is cuss you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Desmond, I'll go through it again. The food is in the fridge where everything is labelled, right? Breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner, everything. All you have to do is pop it in the microwave. Oh, sure, you don't need to use that thing. Well, it's time you learned. <laughs> don't push your luck, you. Otherwise, you'll stay here with your father. <laughs> yes, behave yourself. Anyway, that microwave don't even look like a proper cooker. It looked like a TV in which you just push things. <laughs> it's pretty simple, Des. All you do, you switch it on, you plug it in, you pop it in. You plug it in and you switch it on. Same difference. Well, it ain't. You see, they can't even agree to disagree. If these young minds can operate it, how you expect an old dog like me to operate it? Mm -hmm. Because this old dog has learned that this new trick wasn't difficult, so she left the instruction manual on the table upstairs so this old dog can learn it too. All right. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, will you miss me? How I gonna know you ain't gone yet? Go. <laughs> Don't get up to anything. Moi? <laughs> listen, listen. When you see that Dominic, you tell her the Prince of Peckham's still waiting, yeah? Don't worry, Lee. I'll put in a good word for you. Bye. Bye. Enjoy yourself. Ah, Desmond Ambrose. Tonight, you gonna rave. <laughs> <laughs> Why me hungry? It's funny how you could miss things. What, you mean like Shirley being your skinny, making you tea and toast and whatever? I didn't mean it that way. It's just that we didn't have any this morning. That's why I'm hungry. Yeah, well, look, look, I'll pop out the shop for you some sandwiches in a minute. How's that? Huh? Sandwiches? You call that food? That is just two slices of bread with something cold in between. I want something hot and filling. Food? Did somebody mention food? <laughs> boy, I'm hungry, you know. Two teas and toast, please, Shirl. Yes, please, Shirl. <laughs> Listen. My wife, the hairdresser, is not here. If you want tea and toast, there's a calf down the road. Ah, oh, yeah. She's gone to Boulogne today. We're gonna have to ask for croissants next Monday. But what have we got for now, Desmond? But, Papa, you've been feeding your face all morning. Look, man, my stomach is still playing bongo drums. Maybe you have worms. Worms? They must have been in that party I had last night. Well, if I feed them, they might go back to the garden. <laughs> Popeye, if you feel ill, I better come to you out tonight and carry Machu instead. No, I never felt better, man. Yeah, that girl from Gwyneth's food of beans, where are you going to know? Yes, eh? please do tell. Well, uh, I was almost invited, sir, as you know. It's no way special, just a little, uh, piano bar in Streatham. Oh, what you mean when there's lots of, um, women? I'm a married man. <laughs> Anybody know how to operate a microwave? Yes, I do. Oh, we'll have one at home. Step this way. There's food enough upstairs to feed the 5,000. <laughs> uh, Tony, when you finish with that customer, lock up his lunchtime. You know, I mean, you show me what if Michael. Listen, who's the boss of the shop? My son or me? Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. Good. <laughs> Redfish, rice, and peas. Boy, I am so hungry, I could eat the label. <laughs> what she got there? Aki. And saltfish. Beef stew. And dumpling. <laughs> Chicken. And roti. Pork pie. And Desmond. No. How about you? I thought you said you could operate this thing. Yeah, I thought you said we Africans understand sophisticated technology. <laughs> yes, but this one is more complicated. Don't no worry, Desmond. I'll sort it out in no time. And look, I ain't got time for that. Let me go out and get some pop grub. Don't talk about grub, man. I don't want living in my stomach. Be patient, you two. Just give me a minute. I've almost cracked it. <laughs> Machu, 
That is a microwave, not a safe. <laughs> you know, a wicked pub with a dread juke back to play some hard tunes. <laughs> Not all black people speak like that. <laughs> Johnny, I'd like to go to this exquisite public house where there's a marvellous jukebox that plays some hard tunes. Tunes like that anymore. anymore. No, I couldn't say diamond, that was back then. That was the sort of tunes they played back then. But today's music is a lot of electro-synthesized pop. <laughs> In one year after next. I mean, take a look at scratch music. Yeah. You know, scratching records together. There is no need to play an instrument. Just add a backbeat, preferably hand claps, and Robert is your fella. That's not music. That's plagiarism. That's right. <laughs> And uh, what lecture did you get that from, Matthew? <laughs> Is today's multimedia society a question of style over content? <laughs> oh, God, I've got an essay for you, Des. <laughs> Will Michael forgive Desmond for closing the shop today? If Charlie can have a day off, I can have a day off. Yeah, but Michael's paying me to be with you today, isn't he? So, you with me, ain't you? Uh, <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I'm sitting here having an intelligent conversation with my friends about style over content. <laughs> and if you had as much style and indeed content as my learned gentleman here, you may join us. Dress down, quote by dress down. <laughs> Roy, uh, same again, please, and um, a pint of lager for my son. Dad, it's Saturday, our busiest day, and here you are. There are 52 Saturdays in every year. And if one goes missing, it ain't gonna make much difference. So just relax and stop thinking about that God you call money for a while. <laughs> you're a young man. And if you carry on like this, you're going to work yourself to an early grave, which will deprive me of one of the few pleasures I have left. Hmm. What's that? Hearing you say nice things about me on my deathbed. <laughs> I worry about you, you know. You really enjoy a confrontation, don't you? Mm. Especially with you. <laughs> Now that's what I call music. What's wrong? can't do that. It's against the law. Nah, not anymore, it isn't. Haven't you got anywhere you can stay? No. Why did he kick you out? What kind of a question is that? Look, I just want to get to the bottom of the situation. The situation is very simple. The man flings you out punchy bottom. <laughs> Why? These are ruthless times we're living in. It's do it to them before they do it to you. I was reading a piece in the newspaper. Have you no friends to turn to? Not really. You see, I don't come from round here. I'm from Wales. Well, um, I've got a spare room you could use for the night. <laughs> Dad, you don't know what you're letting yourself in for. Once she's in, you'll never get her out. Well, the landlord didn't have that problem. That is the trouble with people today. If a man can't extend a helping hand to a fellow woman, what is this world coming to? I mean, look at them. What's your name? Helen. Do you know how to use a microwave? <laughs> yes. Well, step this way, Helen. <laughs> I thought you said you could operate it. 
Yes, I can, but this one's a difficult more, more complicated. complicated. <laughs> well, why don't you let me do it? I know how. I bought the same one off Lee. Lee? No wonder we can't operate it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's angry. So are we. <laughs> hey, so why did you come to London then, eh? Ironic, isn't it? I came to London to work in a hotel in the West End. I'd only been there a few weeks when they introduced a new shift system. Couldn't do it because of the baby. Then I began to fall a few weeks behind with the rent. Yeah, how many weeks? 26. <laughs> Couldn't get a job. And all my benefit went to feed Jimmy. Oh, dear. What's wrong? I haven't got any baby food. And, and I... you haven't got any money, right? Yes. Uh, it's only a couple of pounds. I get my child benefit tomorrow. I'll give you the money. No, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll give it, it tomorrow. I insist. All right. <laughs> um, <coughs> nice baby. I knew I shouldn't have trusted her with that money. Oh, well, maybe something happened to her. Look, what did I tell you about people like that? Once you let them in, you'd never get rid of them. Well, it certainly doesn't apply in her case. <laughs> you think I have to call the police? Oh, no, come on, give us some time, yeah? I mean, there could be all sorts of reasons. Time? I'm already late for my piano bar. Um, what are we going to do with the baby if she doesn't come back? <laughs> she will come back. She doesn't look like the kind of woman that would abandon her baby. Father, she's been gone three hours. The shop is only down the road. Yeah, look, she might have bumped into the landlord. He had a change of art and... She'll, She'll be, be back, back now. I know. Yeah. I think I'll call the police. Oh. Oh. I know that smell. Oh, number two smell. The big job. <laughs> Listen to these men. Look, it's perfectly natural. The baby's had a crap, OK? <laughs> Let's get some nappies. Um... Papa, go in the bathroom and bring me a flannel. Matthew, that's oven cleaner. <laughs> and um, while you're at it, go downstairs and bring me a hand towel. All right. Clean film. Is this any good? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? There's one. It's me. Ah, surely. How are you, darling? I called the house this afternoon, and it just rang and rang, and there was no answer. Yes. Uh, well, that was because we were so busy, I had to take the phone off the pub. <laughs> oh, no, the <no>, hook! No. <laughs> <laughs> off the hook! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yes, yes. Did you sort out the microwave? Oh, yes. It's funny I made such a fuss about it. It's easy once you get the hang of it. Yes. What's that noise? Devon! Yeah! <laughs> the food is too hot. Well, microwave food can be like that sometimes. Oh, Desmond, I wish you could be here. It is so romantic. Je t'aime, mon chéri. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> I'll see you tomorrow. Are you trying to get rid of me? No. Um, where are you? Oh, we're in this lovely restaurant with Dominique. A restaurant, eh? Mm -hmm. I got the nappies. Mm. Um, <laughs> Charlie and Gloria in a restaurant pork pie. Uh, uh, tell them not to have the pate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do you want to have a word with Gloria? All right. Hello, Dad. Oh, having a nice time. Wish we were only joking. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I better go now. Look after yourself. Bye. Bye, Sharon. Bye, Sharon. Bye, Sharon. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Does she suspect anything? Nah, everything's cool. <laughs> Hello? Mom! Ah, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I'm in the bath. <laughs> Proper to see Dad. Up to no good. <laughs> Mother, he's a grown man, and grown men always get up to no good. <laughs> yes, 
yes, of course I will. <laughs> yeah, uh, goodbye, Mother. I'll speak to you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at him. Not a care in the world. Hmm. Just think we were all like that once. Even you. <laughs> when are you gonna make me one of them? Huh? Who? I'm serious. I feel incomplete. I wanna be a grandfather soon. Look, I can't afford to have children yet. Oh. Why do you always have to reduce things down to money? Yeah. I mean, look at him. He's priceless. You can never afford to have kids. You have them out of love. And whether you like it or not, me and your mother had you out of love. <laughs> in those days, we were living in a tiny one-bedroom flat in East Dulwich, not a million miles away from Helen and young Jimmy. Could barely afford to pay the rent, much less feed you. But at least we had each other. If we'd waited to afford you, we would be sitting on this bed tonight wondering what the hell we gonna do with this baby. <laughs> Well, of course I miss my wife and children. But there are certain things one has to sacrifice in order to secure the future. But with all those degrees you've got, Matthew, you should have enough qualifications to go back to the Gambia by now. <laughs> it's not as easy as that. It's a complex issue that would take a long time to explain. Well, we've got all night. <laughs> well, it's to do with the present educational structure. I come from a long land of intellectuals. You're at the back of it. <laughs> In my family, we believe that even if a man is going to be a road sweeper... You mean you're getting all these degrees to be a road sweeper? <laughs> even if a man is going to be a road sweeper, he mustn't be denied a university education. Oh, you Africans are so long-winded. <laughs> why, why are you two? Here, I mean, you must miss your wife and kids, eh? Nah. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, I admit it. It was my fault. I mean, she caught me in bed with another woman. <laughs> you know, I asked forgiveness and she said she'd never forgive me. And true to her word, she never has. <laughs> but the worst thing is that my kids haven't forgiven me. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but then they weren't there when she caught me. <laughs> I thought they'd show some respect or at least some pity. But nah, just like their mother, nothing. <laughs> well, how did you expect them to love you when even by your own admission you were never around much? You were always away playing jigs. Gigs? But I don't know what you're talking about because you're not around a lot yourself. Ah, but we Africans are quite different from you West Indians. My children have to love me. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm coming. All right, all right, I only got two pairs of legs. <laughs> you? Yes, me. Can I have my baby back, please? You want your baby back? How can you call him your baby? Oh, well, I've got... I mean, what happened to... And right. why did you... And where did you... And what if... And how... <laughs> Look, speak to me, woman. I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do what I did. Can I come in? When the landlord threw me out, I didn't know what to do. When you came along, it was like a... A miracle! I had nowhere to go when you offered me a place to stay. You didn't even take my offer. I know, I'm really sorry. Do you know what it's like being a single mum? <laughs> of course not. Oh, I didn't mean that. I wanted a day to myself. I haven't had a day to myself since Jimmy was born. You looked like people who could take care of him for a while. I wasn't going to do anything. I was going to go to the shops and I was going to come straight back. Lo and behold, I bumped into the child mind who used to look after Jimmy when I was working. I went back to her place. I told him my problems. And you know what? 
What? I had the first good night's sleep since Jimmy was born. It might sound selfish, but it's... Oh, well, anyway, she has a spare room. And she's offered it to me rent-free until I get a job. I always thought the big cities had little time for somebody like me. But you can be wrong. Thanks for your support. It should change. It's for Jimmy. Okay, girls, carry on cleaning. <laughs> Pratt in that apron. Hello, Dad. Hello, darling. Well, hello, hello. Hey, <laughs> Did you have a nice time? Oh, yes, yes. But it's good to be back home. <laughs> All right, Lee, anywhere. Anywhere. Oh. How can we thank you? <laughs> <laughs> Papa. Voici un petit cadeau pour vous. Oh, thanks, darling. What's that mean? It's French for I didn't get you anything greedy. <laughs> what, not even a message from Dominique? Oh, yeah. I said, was there a little loving message she wanted to send Lee, the Prince of Peckham, and she said, um... Yeah? Who? <laughs> oh, what oh, Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> and what did you bring me, darling? Just moi. Oh, well, that's just what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, did you have a nice, quiet time? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Made lots of money in the shop yesterday? That, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> did you get up to anything? No. 